Hello guys, today um, I'm going to do the second part of the tab web browser, uh, web browser. I'm going to show you how to add and remove tabs. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to of course open the project and you're going to go to the, the tab page uh, with the back forward and all that. You're basically going to want to move all this stuff down. You can do that by selecting all of it by you can either uh, hit control and click all of this or just find a blank area and you can see how that little thing comes up and you can go ahead and go right across. You just want to move these parts down so you may have to resize your web browser a little bit. But basically you want to move them down here. That should be good. Um, reason why is because we're going to add a menu strip. And that's what we want to add from here. I'm going to go ahead and put file. And under that I'm going to put new or uh, yeah let's go ahead and let's just put new tab and oops, hit the start button there. Remove tab. Sorry, my OCD, I guess you could say. <laughs> tab, and then while we're at it, I'm just going to put a close button on here too. I'm going to be going over bookmarks. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, enter instead of having to click go, and I'm just going to be going all of these. Um, you know, so look forward to that. Hit the subscribe button if you want more than that. Um, so let's go and let's hit the new tab here. Let's double click on that. Basically, on the new tab, you need to take the code from the load event of here, and you basically just copy it. We're gonna have to make some alterations to this, um, but the tab code of the very first page, the one that has the uh, tab control on it, that one you want to get the code from. Basically, copy what's in the load events here, the dim t all the way down to tab control one, and you're going to copy that. And we're going to go ahead and go back here and we're going to go to the new tab. And again, we're going to have to make some alterations to this just to make it work with this part. But it's really simple. You just paste it. As you can see, you get this right here. You just need to put form 1. And then that should actually be it. I thought there was a little bit more, but yes, that is actually it. So now let's go to the remove tab. This one we're going to use form one dot tab control one dot tab pages dot remove tab control one or uh oh, you have to put form sorry uh form one one dot tab pay tab control dot uh, selected tab. So this is going to remove the selected tab of of that form. And then let's go and let's just do uh, the close button, and that is going to be form one dot close. Okay. And let's go ahead and assign a keyboard shortcut while we're at it. Let's go and let's do that to the close button. The normal thing for closing is hitting Alt F4 so we're just going to add that by going over here and going to shortcut keys we're going to do Alt and then you're going to find F4 um, again you can you know you can customize this any way you want um, but this is the standard in Windows is F4 so um, Alt F4 is just a standard in Windows and if I click away oh, didn't mean to do that and I'm all over the place. Alright, as you can see, it assigned Alt F4. Now, it, it, you don't have to assign it to the close button, but it's nice because it shows it next to it. Um, you know, it gives the user that option and it kind of shows them some quick uh, stuff. We're going to go ahead and do um, new tab. I like to do Control T because that is um, basically a standard in web browsers. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and Control. Now, if you just hit the T on your keyboard, it should take you to that. And this one, I'm going to just do. Uh, let's just do Control R. You know, you can you can of course adjust these to your needs um, and such. But it basically gives uh, quick and easy, uh, you know, creation and uh, removing that tab. So we're going to go ahead and start this. So we go File New Tab. As you can see, it created a brand new tab. Okay. And if we go Remove Tab, it removed that tab. And if we hit Close, it closes it. Um, so you. Alright, so thank you for watching. Again, I'll have uh, a lot more of these tutorials coming up. I'll be doing bookmarks. Uh, I'll also be showing you how to do uh, custom tabs um, instead of the Windows tabs. So I've got some pretty cool tutorials planned out for this. And uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want that. If you like this and this helped you, 
go ahead and hit the like button down there, comment if you have any questions. Um, I'll go ahead and have a link back to the first web browser I made if you want to learn how to make this. Go ahead and look at my channel, I should have an annotation as well and a link in the description. So I thank you for watching and have a good day.